Well, hey guys, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guide's life, and here I am. I'm actually on my way to pick up Joanna in uh, in St. Cloud. Joanna got to go in my stead uh, with my son David to the Lions game in Tampa. And uh, so I hope that went well. I have no idea what the outcome of that is. I can give you a lake report. I can tell you how we finished up, John and I, in the Roland Martin Championship. Uh, first of all, I, we did not finish in the money. We only had, we finished with three fish, which weighed nine and a half pounds, which probably is an indicator that they were three pretty good fish. And they were. Um, had we, uh, you know, we did not catch a good We John caught one small one. Uh, at about a, at about 12 o'clock and it was and, and in fact well I take it back no it was about 12:45 is when we caught our first fish of the day we went to Harney Pond this morning nothing I mean I mean I didn't even see anybody catch a fish Tom Mann was there on a guide trip and he was in two different locations and I never saw him catch a fish on a shiner or otherwise uh, it was very it was tough we rolled the dice and we went up there I Carolina rigged in the in the deep hydrilla. We 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 crawled uh, baits through the deep hydrilla. We flipped probably for I don't know three quarters of a mile of shoreline up there, uh, and they're just it w wasn't happening there. It was not happening there, and uh, so we, at twelve o'clock we said that's it, man. We got to go, and which is what we decided. We decided we were going to go until twelve o'clock, and if we hadn't gotten a uh, if we hadn't gotten a fish by, or if we hadn't gotten on them by 12 o'clock, we were going to head south. Uh, we ran the lake back. Not the smartest thing to do. It was brutal. Uh, we were dealing with three and a half foot, two and a half to three and a half footers. Um, running troughs was okay, but every once in a while we'd have to run downwind, and that's you know that's a risky business. And uh, you know I've got a big 22 and a half foot boat, and uh, and we were fine. But but it took a little longer to get back than than we would like to have. We also stopped and fished some of the outside stuff uh, along the uh, along the shoal, and it was just it was a waste of time. Uh, we got back about one o'clock. We got into East Wall, and we had uh, we had to be in at three thirty, so we knew we had about two and a half hours or so uh, to fish. Uh, we dinked and dunked around, and finally we just picked up and we went into the thick stuff, which is kind of what we thought we would do if we were in East Wall, and. You know what? I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was a deal where they turned on when we started catching them or if that had been a thing that had been maybe good all day. I have a feeling it might have been good for quite a while because there were 23 and a half pounds or so won the tournament. Congratulations to uh, uh, to uh, Brandon. Um, oh, goodness gracious. McMillan. Brandon McMillan and his partner won uh, the uh, won the event with almost 24 pounds. There were two or three other sacks of over 20 pounds. So there was some fish caught, and there were uh, you know I, I think that we might have you know had we been able to get five together in the, on the pattern that we were fishing, we probably would have finished with a check. Uh, as it was, uh, we caught all three of our fish. I in fact our first good fish we had one about five pounds, and that fish came at right around two o'clock. So. Um, and then I caught another one that was about three and a half pounds, and uh, and then John had one that was about a pound and a half, and that put us rated right about nine and a half pounds with three fish. Um, I didn't fish clean. I missed three fish. I had four bites, but I really feel like I missed three. One of them I just it thumped it, and then it just wasn't there. And uh, I set clean, and and uh, there was just nothing there. Another one I set the hook, and it took the bait right off the hook. Uh, another one, I, what the pattern was, and here's the flipping bite, guys. This is what we had going on. If you're flipping tomorrow, this is what you're going to need to do. There are some great places to flip right now, great, great uh, uh, flipping patches and mats right now. There's a lot of hyacinths in East Wall, and, and the fish were in them. At least at the last two hours of our tournament, they were in them. And uh, what I wound up doing was you, you throw it in, and if they didn't hit right away on the first, on the first drop, you just lifted it up to the top of the mat and just kind of shake it there for a minute, get it out, get it to the next spot. Both of my really good bites uh, and a third one that I missed clean um, came at the top of the mat. The fish was actually came up and grabbed it right at the top of the mat. And so that's 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 the uh, 
Uh, that's the pattern right now. Uh, and, and it was, if if I'd have had two more hours, we'd have had, you know, obviously we'd have, we'd have kept we'd have kept fishing around that area. There were fish there for sure. And uh, and there were fish on that uh, on that pattern uh, for sure. Huh, you know what? It's it's bass fishing. God bless Roland Martin Marine Center and the tournament trail. It's a wonderful trail. I don't you know many places you can go and and make twenty five grand in a hundred boat tournament and uh, with with the other payouts and all that kind of stuff that was available. Uh, I I know there was right around I think first place was somewhere around twenty five grand um, and which is just a spectacular thing. Guys, if you're in South Florida and you want to fish a tournament trail, a team tournament trail, there is probably nothing better out there right now than the Roland Martin Marine uh, Center uh, tournament trail. And uh, of course, I'm, it's it's the only tournament trail I fish. And John Tavano and I are, are uh, we had a top five finish in the last qualifying event, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna continue uh, to to fish uh, certainly next year as well. Uh, you got to fish three out of the four events in order to qualify for the championship. Um, the entry fees are, are $150. I believe it's $150. It might be $200, actually. Uh, and it's $300 for the, uh, for the championship. But uh, it well worth it. Guys, Lake Okeechobee, holy crap, it was 40 degrees this morning. Running across the lake, I was freezing. Wear your long johns, guys. Cover up your hands, your face, all your bare skin. If you're going to be out running the lake, it is cold. Having said that, I know a lot of guys were catching fish on a, on, a, on a real fast retrieve on a rattle trap. That bite was good in East Wall and south of and south of East Wall. That bite was pretty good. Uh, a lot of guys caught limits of fish doing that. Um, for John and I, we were flipping. Uh, we flipped a beaver, uh, you know, any kind of a real compact. Uh, Ica caught a fish as well today flipping. But, I mean, I was flipping with a two-and-a-half ounce weight uh, to get through the junk and... Uh, and that was one of the things that was frustrating this morning too, is that the wind had blown in so hard along the uh, grass line that we were trying to fish. It was so compact, I couldn't get a two and a half ounce weight through most of it. I literally had to throw the ball bait way up in the air and jerk it like this and get it to come missling down. And that, that's how we got most of uh, uh, the punch throughs. Never got a bite, but that's how we punched through the mat um, this morning as well. But anyway, guys, listen, I uh, got, got a guide trip next two days. Um, Got a two-day coming in here. I got Wednesday. I'm probably going to go fish uh, up in the Kissimmee River, uh, and then uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all guide trips. Sunday, guide trip, um, and then Monday. The next Monday is uh, the Monday night football game. I'm going to hopefully try and go get over and catch uh, Tampa uh, play the uh, Atlanta Falcons. So that's that's my week in a nutshell. Going to get some videos out to you. Um, also, guys, I got rolling stuff ready to go. Be looking for his uh, first posting here uh, probably the next day or two, actually. I've got three videos ready, and uh, we're gonna. it's time to get them things up and running. Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life. Do me a favor. If you like the thing, hit the like button for me. It's important. Also, hit the share. Share this thing, and for God's sakes, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life building a fire. Stay with me, folks. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.